All right, so I'm here at Mill Creek. This is uh, this is the same creek that I normally um, rock hound in. That is at Steel Creek Park. This leads into Steel Creek Park. Um, this is um, the creek that runs along the Mill Creek parking lot. So, at this little spot here, find a couple nice pieces. Start with this one here. Got this yellow jasper agate. I always find this everywhere in in this creek. So you can see the chalcedony there with the yellow jasper. There we go. And another piece here. I'd already washed this one off. That'll get cleaned out with some uh, iron out. And I don't want to use actually a lot of iron out because I don't want a chance getting rid of the yellow. I love the yellow. But you can see, you can clearly see the chalcedony mixed in with that so i mean I, I don't know what else this is except for a jasper agate um some of these come out like a almost like a root beer color this has some translucency right here a lot of translucency and it's just it, it, and behind the translucency is this yellow and that's what makes it special in my opinion so that'll go as well here is a typical, I can get it out. This is a typical yellow agate. Doesn't look like anything's on it. Or yellow agate, I'm sorry, yellow jasper. There's a lot of this stuff around, but a lot of this stuff has a lot of the chalcedony mixed in with it. So it, it just gives off a really nice contrast. And when it's dark, it gives off it's like a, a root what i would call a root beer color with that yellow and i think it's pretty so all right let's move on a little bit see what else we can find all right let's see what's in this little hidey hole hidey hole doesn't look like much Or Jasper. You'll find a lot of that here. This is Chert. More Chert. You'll find a lot of Chert as well. Shirt. This is interesting. So here's a piece of shirt with a hollow spot in it. Nothing too special though. I'm curious about this one right here. The old yellow jasper. Yeah. I'm not going to keep it, but it's nice. I'm not really shooting for anything that big. Not today, anyway. And normally, normally I'm down creek, of course. 
where the parking lot is at. But there's a, path, a walkway that'll take you right along the creek. So I'm moving upstream today. I want to go there. Can I do this without dropping anything? Like my phone. Or me. Alright. Right away, nice piece of shirt. It's formed in these little nodules. It's usually black, but some of the stuff that I'm getting, like this right here, I mean, it might be a type of chert, but I just, I never knew chert to be translucent at all, so. Look at this. Old, I assume it's old. Water line, sewage line. I hope it's not sewage. Now I found uh, quartz along this creek before, but they are few and far between here, which is unfortunate. But I have found them, and I'm talking quartz crystals, not just quartz rock. I have found little geodes as well. Like this right here. Geode-esque. Oh, look at that. Nice piece of chalcedony right there. A little bit of a bluish gray. More of a gray. A lot of gray chalcedony. It's not really blue. I wish it was. It's a nice piece of chalcedony. I might keep that. I think I will. That'll go in my pocket. Alright, let's move on up. Without falling without hurting oneself. Alrighty. So I'm going to go upstream today because I'll find nice pieces downstream. But if you think about it, you'll find broken pieces downstream. So that tells me upstream is source of some of these rocks. They could be along the creek, they could be along the bank. I don't know. A mushroom. So I'm going to be walking this pathway a little bit, checking some stuff out today. It's cold. Here it is, the beginning of April. The carpenter bee is at work. Well, you have fun with that, buddy. And uh, it's cold though. It's uh, cloudy, dreary, chilly. Uh, I don't like it. But I'm out here anyway, because you have to get out can't stay cooped up inside all day so with nothing to do I'm out here entertaining you all I hope <laughs> plus getting some uh, fresh air walking a nice little path doing a little rock hunting so we'll make a day out of it or as much of one as I can so let me find another spot. We'll get back to you. All right. Remember when I said I'm not going to go after anything too big today? I may have lied. But first, here's this one.
that's pretty cool. I, I, I like that. That is nice. That's not the one I was looking at, however. Um, this one. I suspect. Oh yeah, I can see the I can see the color right there. Let's get that cleaned off. Oh, sorry. Hang on, drop my earbud again. It doesn't want to stay in my ear much today. So, I think that's a keeper. I don't know how well that's coming out, but. Yeah, that's, that's a keeper. I'll shut off a little bar. Definitely will need to be cleaned up. And what I am going to do, I see another one. I see another one. If my eyes don't deceive me. More of a chirp. Okay. Um, I'm going to see if somebody at the park, at the nature center here, knows what these would be. Look at this one, though. Little roly polies. Got a little worm in there, too. And this might be something. Might just be chirp, flint. I'll leave that be. But uh, I might stop in the nature center and see if they know what kind of rocks have this feature. And I'm suspecting it's going to be a jasper agate. There's another one. Put that on a, on a tile saw. Might come out all right. It's noduled like a, like a flint would, but it's also noduled the same way an agate would be noduled. So, and really it's all in the same family. That uh, microcrystalline. Oh, hello, little kitty cat. So, huh. See what's over this way. Just give you a little view there. Look how bluish that water is. It's pretty cool. More of the yellow jasper. Look at this. These flint nodules here, I believe that's what they are, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're growing all in this rock here. That's flint. Or chert. Basically the same thing, right? Keep that bad boy. See, looking for the yellow uh, is kind of what I'm looking for. Here's a nice little chalcedony piece. Ugh. 
because that yellow is where that contrast will be. Um, you know, and seeing all that other, uh, all the other minerals like the chalcedony or agate. So, uh, cool spot. Let's move further up river. I might take this. I don't know. I do not know. I mean, I got this one here, which is nice. And it's a big chunk. And it's got what I'm looking for. But so does that one. And I'm running out of room in my pockets. Uh, and there's this big mama jama here. And then there's that one, which I think that was just Jasper. Yeah, that's just Jasper. Ah, uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. I mean, I've already got my find of the day so far. I really do like that, though. I like the... Look here on the bottom where it's flat. Uh, we'll see what else we can find. Now that's neat seeing the chert, the flint growing out of that host rock. Get my footing. All right, let's move upstream a little bit more. So I began to ponder, you know, where does my love of rock hounding and rocks come from? Well, it started, I guess when I was about nine, ten years old. Uh, I had a uh, teacher who was teaching science and like natural sciences and whatnot. Uh, she had gifted me because she saw that I was interested. She had gifted me um, some uh, some rocks, um, some of which were quartz. So I rem I remember distinctly it was rose quartz, um, white quartz, like a milky quartz, and these weren't crystals. These were the r the rough uh, rock. Um, she gave me a piece of, I think it's barite, it's peacock ore, basically, and uh, a piece of sulfur, and I kept, and, and a piece of pyrite. She gave me five rocks, and uh, they were about palm size, you know, they weren't big, they were just palm size, and I kept them for years, and I never really got into rock counting until really recently, in the, in the last few years. But I've always had that in the back of my mind that it's a it's a fascination, you know. So that's where it, uh, that's where it stemmed from, and uh, I'm trying to think now, you know, what what got me back into it recently in the in the last say five years. I can't really think. Uh, I really don't know. Um, you know, just just the the overall curiosity that I've always had. Um, I'm a kid at heart. You know, I'll be 90 years old, and I'll still want to hop along creeks like this and look for things. So, um, maybe that's that. I think maybe I saw a video or two, and it kind of reignited my uh, interest in it. Or maybe it was going to a museum, or uh, uh, you know, maybe uh, just wandering by a rock shop. That may have done it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a fascination. You know, we, we see something, we like it. Uh, and when, when it comes to looking for these uh, particular ones that I'm looking for today, what I would consider jasper agates, um, you know, you come across it by chance, you like the color, you like what you see, you're not really sure what it is, and then next thing you know, you're looking for a pattern. It's just like when I, when I first found quartz crystal at Douglas Lake, you know. Um, I, I knew what it's supposed to look like, but I wasn't sure what to look for, you know, what, what, it, you know, looking for the glint of the sun, certain geometrical shapes, 
once you find it, you start looking for that very same pattern. So, uh, you know, that's, that's a little tip there. So if you, if you find a rock that you really like and you understand at least somewhat what you're looking at, you can then look for that pattern. So like for the rocks that I'm, I'm out for today, which anything to really catch my eye, but um, today's going to be a lot about finding those jasper agates. And um, I'm looking for the yellow. I'm looking for that yellow jasper. And then I'm going to see if that yellow jasper has any chalcedony or um, quartz-like inclusions in it. And a lot of it's going to be chalcedony. Um, and some of it might be chert. You know, so the, the jasper is going to be mixed with chert or chalcedony. You know, again, it's that crystal, uh, micro-crystal structure. So let's continue on here. I might see about looking in there if I can. Okay. Due to this wall right there and there, and then where the water is flowing into this gravel bed, there's a lot of clay, a lot of white and yellow clay. And uh, look at this. You can make a sculpture out of that. Look at that. Make some pottery. Pottery, I tell you. Just crumble in my hand. Yeah. So, let's move on to that spot over there. Okay, so here's one. I can get comfortable here. See, now I got clay on my shoes and it's getting a little slick even on this rock that's dry. All right, so. Uh, that's just gonna be straight up flint. Don't even worry about that, all right. Find interesting things among these crevasses. All right, very carefully, very carefully. The sun's starting to poke out, so that might help in finding treasure. Not seeing anything off the top of my head yet. So I'm seeing a lot of the yellow, but it's clearly not uh, translucent enough. Now, this is semi-translucent. Semi-opaque, I would, you know, see that more as a flint or chert before it <coughs> classified as chalcedony, but I could be wrong, who knows. All right, let's check out this little crevasse. Here's a perfect example of a chert or flint nodule right there. There we go. Nice. All right, I want to see if there's anything sticking out of this wall. Yeah, nothing there. Okay. I want to see if there's anything sticking out of this wall that might be interestingly enough. We will see. All 
I said I had a hunch. My hunch was that we might find some quartz sticking out of here. And uh, I don't know if we'll be able to, but you can see why I would think that. I'll check this out. Look, look. So I don't know if you can see the water coming out of that rock through here. Drop my earpiece right in the water. Son of a gun. Okay. Got to pause the video. I'm going to be working with one for now. Uh, I've done that before. These things, I don't know if it's my ear hole. Uh, <laughs> or, or what. But I've had them fall out before. And I had one fall in water not too long ago. And it didn't you know, damage it or ruin it or nothing. Uh, I quickly... Did my best to air dry it and then I put it back in its little charging pod. May not be the best option because of the contact there, but I did my best to dry it off. So we'll keep our fingers crossed there. So hopefully I'm doing all right with just one. I gotta be honest, I don't know how far I've walked down this path. I'd say at least a mile. Maybe, maybe not, but. I'm going to start heading back here in a little bit. I've never walked this far upstream before. It's pretty neat. Really neat. So. Alright, well I think what I'll do is I gotta make sure that my earbuds not ruined. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my way back. I'm gonna get my way back to Steel Creek Park and stop at the Nature Center. I might do a little film in there, but I wanna ask them about these rocks and see if my suspicion is correct that they are Jasper agates. See what they say, if they have anybody there that can tell us. So stick around, we'll see what they say, if anything. So, um, according to the fellow that I talked to, unfortunately, what I found is most likely just chert. Um, but it is included with a lot of that yellow jasper, which he did say yes, there's a lot of that. But he did say that the chert and the chalcedony and flint and all that stuff, it is of the same material. But he said, you know, most likely it's chert. He said that's very reminiscent to a lot of the chert that they find in the area. Um, Including, you know, a lot of the black shirt. This is a skeleton of a giant sloth that was here 11, 12,000 years ago. Giant ground sloth. pictures here that people take. Well, there's a lot more to the nature center. Well, a little bit more, but I couldn't show. There's people around and I don't want to interrupt or necessarily be interrupted. But uh, yeah, this is the nature center at Steel Creek Park. Um, and yeah, so this piece right here is the one I showed him. And uh, yeah, he said that's chert. He says it's just chert. Uh, with Jasper, which is like, Argh. I said, you kind of bursted my bubble there. He's like, yeah, <laughs> but uh, still a very nice piece. It looks great tumbled either way. So this is the lake here at Steel Creek. The dam is that way. Trails go through those mountains there, through that mountain there. 
there's kayaking, paddle boat, and fishing. And it uh, looks like they got a new pathway to go on that way. I might check that out. Actually, I take that back. I won't check that out today. I'm feeling a little peckish. And I'm going to grab something to eat. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'll do another video uh, and visit here again. This is one of my favorite places. It's just so, so peaceful here. That beautiful bluebird just flying away. Um, it's just a peaceful park. It really is. Tucked away in Bristol, Tennessee. Adjacent to a golf course over there. Um, you know, I was talking to, talking to him about other rocks that I find. You know, I find a lot of... I, I still, like, another piece that I thought was chalcedony, he said it's just chert. Now, he did say that's just his opinion. But he was the rock guy. And I'll take him at his word. You know, I'm, I'm just new to this. But uh, I told him, I said, yeah, the reason I thought it was chalcedony was because of the, the wax luster. It's, you know, it's not opaque. I've always thought of chert as being opaque. And he said, no, chert can be rather translucent. But he did reassure me. He says, you have to understand, they are of the same material. So he says, you know, from a mineral standpoint or a gemstone standpoint, you're going to have different names. But from a geological standpoint, you're going to have different names. It's going to just be the same thing. So it made sense, you know, and I kind of knew that anyway, but, you know, I said, is this, you know, Jasper Agate? He says, no, he says, it looks more like chert. Now, unfortunately, he didn't do any kind of light testing. I wish he would have, um, but, you know, there was enough light where we were standing that he could tell what it was. Again, it's still pretty once it gets tumbled and polished. Um, I told him, I said, it kind of gives off like a root beer color, you know, this dark brown amberish type color to it i liken it to uh, a root beer so uh yeah and I, I just like how it contrasts with that yellow with that yellow jasper anyway uh i'm gonna actually head back because like i said i'm getting hungry it's lunchtime i will be doing other videos here uh later as spring approaches more and more and as the days get warmer I'll be doing uh, trail videos, probably even a kayak video. Who knows? We'll see. By the way, my earbuds are fine. I don't have them in right now, but they are fine. So, yay. All right, folks. Well, there's the nature center. From the lakeside, anyway. It used to be in that building there. No, no, it used to be in this building. But this building's been revamped um, over the years. But yeah, that's all for now. I'll give you one more shot of the lake here. And that's about all. Peace out.